Hi there movie fans and welcome to this edition of Movies. Although this week I'm going to be looking at a TV series called Happy Valley. Happy Valley is a very popular TV series in the UK. It's something that I didn't watch when it was first out. And at the moment in the UK there's a, a lot of hype about this TV series. So I thought I'd catch up by binge watching. So I sat down and I watched all three series over several days. This is my preferred way to watch. I find it far better to watch it that way as it allows the plot and pace to build up. As opposed to watching one episode, wait seven days, watch another, wait seven days. That just ruins it for me. Any, any pace that's built up is, is just destroyed. So, binge watching, trust me. So, Happy Valley is a British crime drama television series. And it's set and filmed in Yorkshire, England. And it stars Sarah Lancashire, Siobhan Finneran, James Norton, and many others. Sarah Lancashire plays Catherine Kaywood, who is a, a policewoman who was a one-time detective who's gone back on the beat as a sergeant after she had a bit of a meltdown when her daughter committed suicide. And her daughter committed suicide because she was raped by a local villain called Tommy Lee Royce and had a kid called Ryan through the rape. Kaywood is a very strange character. She has this thing where one minute she's hard as nails and a really tough copper. And the next minute she's crying like a baby all the time. These mood swings, of which there are many, gives me the suggestion that she's supposed to be bipolar. I don't know if that is what is supposed to be in the script, but that's what it looks like to me. The acting is fine. The storylines are fine, if not fully utilised. It can drag a little in places, has a good cast list, has the odd twist, although some of the twists you can see are coming a mile off. Um, one of the characters, Ryan, who is a young lad, is someone that the script says you're supposed to feel sorry for as he's lost his mother. But he's an obnoxious little brat in all three series and only near the end of series three did I have any sympathy for him at all. Now it's worth watching and it is quite good but I won't go overboard about it. There's a lot better out there. Line of Duty for example is far superior. But at the moment in the UK it seems like everyone's got a hard on for this series. It's not perfect in any way, but it's a lot better than average and possibly a lot better than what's on at the moment. Hence the hype. But we do need to get real. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I did like it. But I won't go over the top like others. It could have been so much better if the scripts utilised the plots better. Now the comedian Kieran Hodgson summed this series up perfectly in a very short video on his bad TV impressions with, and I'm going to put the video link below sums up the series perfectly. Now a word of warning if you haven't seen this there will be spoilers coming up in this review so you might want to stop here I just thought I would review it properly and pick a few holes in it. Things I didn't like. So in series one, every single time we go to Ashley's farm, his men are unloading bags from a lorry. Now we all know that they're full of drugs and that's how they transport them. But the strange thing is no one ever builds anything. All of his men on the building site only ever unload lorries. I mean this must be the biggest building site in Yorkshire with that amount of deliveries. Now Catherine Kaywood 
is supposed to be a very clever copper and it's scripted so that it seems she solves absolutely everything while no one else does a single thing there's so many police in this show but they're never doing anything or achieving anything even the detectives in this seem to be getting nowhere until she chips in and saves the day but if she was so astute tell me why at the end of series one where ryan has gone missing and the info is that he's on a canal boat Catherine goes down to the canal and there's three boats in the scene and she starts looking through the window of the first one when quite clearly i can see the kid's bike 30 meters ahead at the other boat is she blind now it's not badly written but it's no jeb mercurio line of duty script <laughs> actually nowhere near I've heard journalists on the BBC like Hayley Campbell and Scott Bryan saying how this is one of the best British series ever and it's as good as Line of Duty. Well, let me tell you now, as good as this is, and it is good, it's not fit to tie the shoelaces of Line of Duty. Nowhere near as good. Not a chance. That's journalists going over the top, jumping on the bandwagon, of a popular show. Now I personally think it was a mistake to keep the Tommy Lee Royce character going at the forefront through all three series. Most good series would have moved on and had total new plots. That my friend is called progression and it stops the series getting stuck in a rut. This did have new plots but they were made to be subplots, secondary to the obsession that is the Tommy Lee Royce story that just kept interrupting them. By keeping the Tommy story going so much, it just kept coming to the fore and overshadowing the other good plots that were going on. I mean, especially the plots that were going on in series two, but it's all about Tommy Lee Royce. Series three, came seven years later after the airing of series two and even though the very last episode of series three was a longer episode than usual it was so rushed and squeezed in in the last 20 minutes everything happened to finish the storylines off so rushed in fact that at the end the subplot had not been resolved and with only two minutes left on the clock at uh, Catherine's leaving party, it was said, oh yeah, by the way, Catherine, the teacher's been arrested and he was blackmailing the kid. And then Catherine, who weren't, <laughs> obviously didn't report it, suddenly says, oh, now I think about it, you should arre arrest Faisal. It was like an afterthought. You know, even though one of the people that I've just mentioned was a murderer for fuck's sake. They either ran out of time, they ran out of money, or couldn't be bothered. The aforementioned critics said, you don't need to see Faisal getting arrested. Well, if you think like that, then maybe series two should have just ended where they said oh yeah by the way we've we've arrested john for the murder of vicky fleming and then you'd have had no chase no bridge scene i mean what is the point of building up the plot and then not bothering to complete it there could have been another episode here there was so much missing okay rant over this is a good series i liked it but it should have been so much better. This review has probably rattled a few people out there as we're all supposed to genuflect to this show. So if you have an opinion, please comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and catch you soon.